Humanity's quest for knowledge. Science will always push the limits of our understanding. Humanity is on a quest to expand our knowledge, to dig deeper, to look further, and to uncover the truth of reality. For generations, religious teachings once held to the belief that Earth was only a few thousand years old. However, with the rise and study of evolution and geology, a consensus emerged that our planet was actually millions of years older. By the 1920s, radiometric dating would lead to the current understanding that Earth is 4.55 billion years old. Georges Lemaitre and Edwin Hubble In the same decade, a Belgian priest named Georges Lemaitre introduced the Big Bang Theory, in which he theorized that the universe began from a single primordial atom. The idea received a major boost from Edwin Hubble's observations that galaxies across the cosmos are speeding away from us in all directions, as well as from the 1960s discovery of cosmic microwave radiation. But where did the Big Bang come from? What happened before the Big Bang, which occurred 13.8 billion years ago? Someday we might know the answer. And once we have the answer, the next logical question will be, what came before that? The beginning of everything. Sacred geometry reverse engineers our method of scientific exploration. It does so by starting with the logical beginning of everything, which is nothing. Before there was something, there was nothing. The universe was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The first thing to come into existence was a point. Before anything could be, it had to start with a point. A point occupies no space, it has no dimensions. It's so small it can't be measured, yet it encompasses everything within it. You could say this point is spirit. And what is the first thing that spirit does? It becomes conscious. 360 degrees of awareness in the vast emptiness of the void. The ancient Egyptians believed that this innate aspect of consciousness is what sparked the process of creation. Then what did spirit do? The only thing it could do. It moved. The first three lines of Genesis in the King James Bible. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now interpretations of the Bible have varied a lot over time, but the important thing to note here is that movement happened before there was light. From the vantage of pure physics or mathematics, motion is impossible in a void. You can't go anywhere or fall or rotate, so in order to move, you need something in relation to move to. Before there was light, there was movement. Once spirit created a point in space, it was able to move to the edge of its awareness and expand consciousness, starting the cycles of creation. This was the start of all things. Stay tuned for more. If you would like more content on this subject, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching. As we journey through the mysteries of the universe together, remember, your interaction helps us bring more such enlightening content your way. See those icons below, the thumbs up, the share button, and the subscribe button. They're not just buttons. They're your tools to shape the content you wish to see and learn about. When you hit the like button, it's like saying to the universe, yes, I appreciate this knowledge, I want more of it. When you share this video, you're helping spread this wisdom to others who might benefit from it. And when you hit subscribe, you're telling us that you want to continue this journey of exploration with us. So go ahead, like, share, subscribe, Engage with this universe of knowledge, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure you never miss an update from us. Your engagement is what fuels our journey into the mysteries of the universe. Together, let's keep the spirit of learning alive.